all you Yankee farmers who'd like to change your lot. Who've spunk enough to travel beyond your native spot And leave behind the village where Ma and Pa do stay Come follow me and settle in Michigan, I -A. What country ever growed up so great in little time Just popping from nursery right into like its prime When Uncle Sam did wean her, it was but the other day And now she's quite the lady, this Michigan I -A. Come all ya sons of freedom That run the Saginaw stream Come all your roving lumber boys and listen to my theme. We'll cross the Titabawassee where the mighty waters flow, and we'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo, and once more a lumbringo. We'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo. When the white frost takes the valley and the snow conceals the woods, each farmer has enough to do to earn the family food. With the weak no better pastime than to hunt for the buck and doe, we'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo, once more a lumbringo. We'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo. You may talk about your farms, your houses and fine ways, and pity us poor shanty boys while dashing in our sleighs. While around a good campfire at night we'll sing while the wild winds blow. And we'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo, once more a lumbringo. We'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo. With our axes on our shoulders, we'll make the woods resound, and many a tall and stately tree come tumbling to the ground. With our axes on our shoulders, to our boot tops deep in snow, we'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo, once more a lumbringo. We'll range the wild woods over and once more a lumbringo. When the navigation opens and the waters run so free, we'll drive our logs to Saginaw, then haste our girls to sea. They will welcome our return in wheel and rapture's flow, and we'll stay with them through summer and once more a lumbringo, once more a lumbringo. We'll stay with them through summer and once more a lumbringo. When our youthful days are ended and our jokes are getting long, we'll take us each a little wife and settle on a farm. We'll have enough to eat and drink, contented we will go. And we'll tell our wives of our hard times. And no more a lumbringo, no more a lumbringo. We'll tell our wives of our hard times. And no more alarm ringo. Columbus came, trees were here, but they weren't the same. They grew and they grew and they grew, then they grew some more. No one cared to cut them down. Anywhere you looked, they were all around. And that's the way it was so long ago. More people came to Wisconsin then. Cities grew on the river's bend. Cities grew and they grew, then they grew some more. They needed wood for their homes and stores. Didn't take long, they were out of board. Still someone said, how about them trees? So they grabbed their axes and grabbed their saws and turned those giants into logs. Floated them down the ribs to the sawmill man. With all that cutting, it didn't take long. Any good forest was going or gone. And a state full of stumps is an ugly thing. Up in Hancock, the land was bare, but also a man named Walter Ware. Sitting on a stump saying, this ain't cool. So he put little trees on a horse-drawn wagon, working each day till his feet were dragging. And plant little trees in the open field. Mr. Ware, you were there, plenty tree. 
Second fled, and old Mr. Weir was aware of this. Takes a lot of sun and rain and a long, long time. But he thought ahead for you and me, things that we might want to see. He's a friend of mine I never met. Mr. Weir, you were there, planting trees for us. Sure got big from the little tree. It's nice when people care, Mr. Weir. Thank you. 